All right, so I've been working on the uh, transmission today. Here's my exhaust. Pulled that off. Four-inch oval exhaust. And uh, I tell you what, uh, trying to pull the transmission without the engine, I don't know if I'd do that again. It's uh, it's a tight fit in this 123, and even though I got it out, I'm not real sure how I'm gonna get it back in, get the new one in. So there's a little nag. Um, I actually have to lift the car higher to get it out. It's kind of stuck right now. Uh, made a little bit of a mess. But uh, like I said, man, it is a tight fit in the tunnel. And I don't know how I'm going to uh, to work the torque converter in there and uh, get everything lined up right because uh, there's just such minimal movement. Uh, also, once I do pull it out, I'll set it side by side with the new transmission and I'll walk through the brake assembly um, or the cable and I actually have a new brake pedal assembly to accommodate the uh, cable and I'll show you the the cap that I had on the old transmission and um, talk about that a little bit. Alright so here they are side by side I got the new uh, AMG S55 uh, on the left and uh, the old um, 608 on the right so obviously the bell housing I'll have to swap out the uh, the tubes I don't know which one I'll keep what I wanted to show you down here is when I originally put this in I didn't have a brake pedal assembly with the cable so I made this uh, I made this little cap here and um, I took out the assembly inside the transmission and uh, recently I, I ran to a junkyard and I pulled out the um, the brake pedal assembly, I can't remember what chassis car, uh, but I plan on putting that in the 123 and making it fit because I, I kind of want the lockout mechanism to work properly. So even though I'm going to install the transmission, it won't be uh, too drivable until I have a means of pressing that in there. And then I'll have to swap out the bell housing, but I'll, uh, I'll take some pictures of that. So here we have it, got the bell housings off. This is the 608, this is the 636. And uh, just given the age of these things, I think I'm going to take this pump and put it on the uh, 606 bell housing and then put that back. I'm sorry, I'm mixing up numbers. This is a uh, 722608 that was on the 606 engine. I'm going to use this bell housing, but I'm going to take this pump off the 636 transmission. And um, also, I mean, the the uh, clutches should be newer. I mean, they are newer. It's a 2002 versus a... Uh, 98 and uh, transmissions look pretty good really well that's pretty dark in there uh, the fluid now the fluid I changed not too long ago I bet you that only has a couple hundred miles on it and it's not even red um, inside anymore it's kind of blackish there so that's a concern this is kind of yellowish I don't know uh, I've never seen genuine Mercedes transmission fluid but I'm wondering if that's what it looks like so I use the uh, the Fox transmission and uh, our fluid. So I'm going to go ahead and get this pump switched out and uh, put the uh, the new transmission together and uh, try and slide that thing into the car. Now it looks as dirty and grimy as the old one that came out. <laughs> Floor is a mess too, and with the epoxy coating, it is slick. So transmission fluid is definitely a good lubricant. Anyhow, time to get this sucker in the car and. Uh, Kind of excited about the new torque converter. I really think that's where a lot of my problems came from. I might even uh, reach out to uh, Turbo Bandit and see about getting one of those um, for next go around. But anyhow, let's get this in the car. It is in. So you can probably see back here uh, on this side here, right there. That is where the uh, the lock cable normally goes in. I had actually purchased the whole pedal assembly, and on the last transmission, I had to make a cap. It's actually that hole down below, right in there. But on this transmission, it's sealed up. There's no way to mount that. So fortunately, I don't have to change out the brake pedal uh, that has the um, the linkage for the uh, the cable that goes in and deactivates that. Uh, I can go through the gears with the shifter just fine without it. And uh, the transmission has the, uh, the filter mounted in it. Now we're ready to go and hook up the drive shaft and put the uh, exhaust back on and I think we're in business.